we are here at the Aiemo, which is the alley restaurant at Aiemo, and they are famous for their plate lunch. And they are famous actually for their tasty chicken, their oxtail soup, and lemon French cake. We're going to try them. The Aea Bowl opened in 1966 and is celebrating its 55th anniversary this year. The Alley, which is the bowling alley's restaurant, is owned by brothers Greg and Glenn Rueda. During non-COVID times, you could even order a meal and watch bowling matches in the adjacent bowling alley. Although the alley is famous for its plate lunch, they are also famous for their wide selection of baked goods. Most importantly, their delicious lemon crunch cake. Hi! Hey! Welcome back to another one of our quarantine taste tests. Mm. Today we are going to be tasting plate lunches. Oh, good, good, good. <laughs> now, for those of you not from Hawaii, plate lunches are pretty much a tradition here in Hawaii. And how it started off was um, people who worked on the plantation. Mm. Most of them were from Asian countries. And when they brought their lunch, in boxes, mm -hmm. they would put rice and they put a little bit of vegetable and then they put make the uh, main entree. Mm. So that, those little box lunches, people started to sell them. Hmm. And then they became a tradition. And now plate lunches are a very big thing here in Hawaii. We all like plate lunches. Uh, they usually have two scoops of rice, macaroni salad, and an entree. Because yeah. we don't like macaroni salad. Ours is not going to include macaroni salad. But um, what we want to know is where is your favorite plate lunch place? Yeah, put it in the comments below. Yeah, we want to know. know so that maybe we can try it for future videos. Yeah, absolutely. Today, we are trying the Alley restaurant. Ooh, they're so good. Yeah, the Alley restaurant in the Aiea Bowl. We're trying them today. Nice. Yay. It should be good. We are actually going to be trying later for dessert. No, just, just, let's just skip it. Let's go and do it now. <laughs> this is our dessert. So, oh boy, oh so, boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, lemon cake. Yeah, so this is later. Mm. Okay, but what do we have today? Today, Wesley ordered their famous tasty chicken plate. Are we ready? Ooh, yes. Oh <laughs> boy. Woo, look at that. Wow, this is, I, you, I don't it's know crazy. if you can tell this or not, but. It's heavy. I have a big head. <laughs> That's pretty big. This is heavy too. This is like two pounds of food. Now, usually it comes with Mac saddle, like she said, and rice. Yeah. But uh, you can substitute. Just ask, substitute, and then I substitute for an extra brown rice. Yeah. And what I have, and we might want to hold it up together so we can see the size difference, the oh. size things here. But here, Ugh. I have the boneless um, cowbee plate. Ooh, They're also um, be so delicious. Yeah, it's very good. It's very good. Cow be delicious. Chicken. <laughs> <laughs> so their tasty chicken is basically um, boneless chicken that is deep fried and it is um, submerged in a shoyu garlic sauce. It's a little spicy, mm. so we'll try that. Ready? Oh, we're gonna use forks? Yeah, we're gonna use forks. Okay. Okay. So that's what it looks Ooh, like. You ready? Nice. <laughs> she always asks that question. Okay, let's do them. <laughs> very, very good, very good, very good. But what I really like about this chicken is the taste. Mm -hmm. It is so full of taste. It it tastes like um, it has sort of a sweet flavor. Yeah. But it has a little bit of spice to it too. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Yeah. I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, it does. It's it's got a little bit of um. I think it uh, crushed red pepper in that. Yeah, yeah, I think bit. it does have a little bit of crushed red pepper. It's so good. And I, I don't know what the other, I'm picking up a hint of garlic. Yeah, there's a little bit of garlic in there. In fact, mm. some people call it garlic chicken, but 
Okay. They call it tasty chicken. But yeah, there's a little bit of garlic in there, which really makes the chicken taste good. But um, it's a really good blend of spices. Absolutely. It's something you definitely got to savor. Yeah, oh, it's definitely. So good. And the outside is very crunchy and oh, crispy. Yeah. I give it a big thumbs up. What about you? A fork. A and fork a thumb. and a thumbs up. Come on. <laughs> All right, so the mm. next thing we're going to try is their boneless cow bee. Oh, okay. Okay, mm. so um, this is marinated in uh, some kind of soy sauce. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I was smelling. Yeah, okay. It smells like a little bit like it has ginger in it, a little bit of garlic. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, right? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Here we go. I know this is heavy too. Yeah, so. it's super heavy. It's super heavy. I'm I helped you. Piece. I'm not trying to take it away from you or nothing. There we go. There we go. Ooh, I got a piece of fat. Woo! Ooh. Yes! I'm a winner. You ready? Yeah. Let's, let's do them. Mmm. Mm. Mm. Okay. Mm. The really good thing about this kelby, and I'm gonna say it right off the bat, usually kelby is thinner sliced. Mm -hmm. This is super thick, and it's very tender. It is. It's very. <laughs> it's very thick. Mm -hmm. Very juicy. Mm -hmm very tender yeah and the seasoning is perfect it's it has um you can taste mm. a little bit of ginger you can mm -hmm. taste a little bit of garlic and it has a soy base uh, mm -hmm. it's so good and they they char it just enough mm -hmm. so that the the fat is a little bit crispy mm -hmm. and that's excellent that's what i was tasting i kept a little bit a little bit just to see if i could get that oh there's something there i mm -hmm. can't figure out what it is it's char. Yeah. That's what it is. That yeah. puts it over the top. It too. does. Because, you does. know, I've had cow bee before. Yeah. But I don't think, I don't think I've ever had them where they charred it a yeah. little bit. That's, yeah. That might be the best cow bee I've had. Yeah. And that's because the fat is so crispy. Oh, it is. It's good. And it's, it's, it's very, it's excellent. Well, that's kind of how, like, the tasty chicken was. Yeah. The piece that I got had a little bit of skin on there. Yeah. And it was the same way. It was exactly. tender. It was juicy. And it was a little bit crispy yeah. on the outside. And, and very tender on the inside. It was really good. Really good. So what would you give the ah! <laughs> one fork Tom and, and one thumb. <laughs> no, no, it's Tom and Fork. That's what happens. Big, big thumbs up. That's what happens. When you, you get, have really good food. When you have really good food, you get it brain frog. With the brain. <laughs> you get brain frog. That's what happens. Brain frog. <laughs> yeah. All right. Give me cake. Give me oh. So the very last thing that we're gonna try is their famous lemon crunch cake. And now the lemon crunch cake is so famous here. They're one of the only places in Hawaii <laughs> that makes them. It's a three layer cake and it has lemon curd in the middle of the layers and it has a um, whipped cream frosting. Let's see, can we open them? Yeah, let's open them. Here. Here. There we go. There we go. I whipped think they cream can see frosting. Better. And watch this delicious stuff that's on the top and the that's, side. That's um, crumbled toffee. Mm. That, it, that makes it go over the top. But this is what they're famous for. People from all over Hawaii come over to the leeward side to get this cake. Yeah. Yeah. And bonus tip for you people. I'm not a huge toffee fan. And I, I admit I've had this before. <laughs> This is really good. This is like heaven in your mouth. This this is. It, it is really good. It makes you slur your speech like you're drunk. Or something. <laughs> it gives but, you brain frog. <laughs> yeah, it gives you brain frog. <laughs> I, this this doesn't taste like typical toffee. It's no. really good. It's it's got a nice crunch to it. It's got a nice flavor to it. Let's taste them. Let's do it. I'll, I'll let you go ahead. You go ahead. You, because I'm a gentleman. Ooh, okay. And a <laughs> She's just gonna take the rest of the cake now. Ah, 
you figured out my plan too late. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, ready? Ready, let's do them, let's yeah. Do them. Seriously, like heaven in your mouth. Seriously. It's like I can hear the angels singing above me. It's really good. It is really good. The the cake is a chiffon cake and it's a little bit on the lighter side, so it's yeah. not heavy and dense. But the lemon in the middle, the curd really comes through that taste is very lemony, which gives it a very fresh taste. And it's not overly sweet. No. It's not overly powered. No. Just, you know, even though you've got the, the, the uh, all this topping, mm -hmm. all this toffee, and how thick it is, and then all this curd. Yeah. It's, it's not, oak, you know, how a lemon usually kicks you in the jaw, but it's not. Yeah. This is very, very bold in the flavor without being tart. Yes. And I got to say that the, the toffee, uh, the toffee crumbles, really just sets off the cake. It does. It does because um, it just adds that extra something and it adds another texture to it. Yeah. It, so, I mean, look at this. Look how soft yeah, this it, is. Yeah, it's, it's like a softest chiffon cake that you'll find, but it's it's very, um, it's moist. It's not, yeah. it's That's not dry at all. And look how easy it goes in the mouth. He's just wanting a second bite. <laughs> I see how that goes. <laughs> anyway. This is really, really good. Um, they are known for their lemon crunch cake. Mm -hmm. They have several others. They have a strawberry crunch cake. Mm -hmm. They have a pumpkin crunch. They have a carrot cake. And they have what is called a chocolate hey. insanity cake. But they're known for their lemon crunch cake. Nobody on the island makes it as good as they do. Oh, so man. I know what your reaction is going to be, but we still got to do them. What is your... Yes, big, big thumbs up for yes. us. Big thumbs up. So that was a really good meal. Yes. From the tasty chicken to the, the boneless kalbi. And then finally... Lemon crunch cake! The lemon yeah. crunch cake at the end. That was so heavenly. Anyway. It was awesome. Yeah. So thank you very much for joining us for this first in this plate lunch series. We're going to have me. more. And if you want to comment, like I said below, with your favorite plate lunch place, we'll look to see if we can try food from there. Please comment. Comment. <laughs> want to try more stuff. He wants to try more plate lunches. <laughs> but thank you very much for joining us. Aloha.